morning, brethren, sisters, Church of the Living God. It uh, is a rare, beautiful day out here, uh, temperature-wise. So this is a day that cannot be wasted. But um, I, I got some emails, um, answering some emails, and uh, a sister asked me a wonderful question as regarding uh, Matthew, uh, the book of Matthew. Um, which I'm going to be looking into, sister. And um, but I'm answering some emails, and I just uh, responded onto a brother with something that I, I just want to I want to post this onto you, the Church of the Living God. Now this is not a doctrinal thing or nothing. This is concerning the man of sin, the son of perdition during the time of Jacob's trouble, okay? This is a question, and I would like to hear some of your opinions on this. I really would. I really would. Um, like I said, this is not doctrinal at all. Um, not at all. Uh, but th like I said, uh, something that is a, a little bit of an odd on the interesting side on to me. I want to share this with you. Look in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. I'm not going to give a did an expository video on that a uh, day or so ago. Not going to get deep into it. But uh, let's read verses 3 and verse 4, okay? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 and verse 4. Don't look at me. Look at the scriptures, even though this is going to be brief, okay? We read. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come to catching away, except there come a falling away first, okay, which has long been happening, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, the beast, the abomination that maketh desolate, inaccurately referred to as the Antichrist, okay? The Antichrist, again, brethren, does not appear in the scriptures, okay? It does not. N never mind, okay? Let's continue, though. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, shewing himself that he is God. In the third rebuilt temple during the time of Jacob's trouble, the man of sin, the son of perdition, the beast, is going to go away and say, I'm God. Okay? Okay, covered that. Here's what I want to uh, put on you to maybe gnaw upon just a little bit, just as a thing of interest to think about. You know, Christ Mass is almost upon us. And again, Christmas is a pagan holiday. It's a pagan holiday. Okay? We have liberty. Yes, we do. But should we use that liberty as an occasion to join in any way the celebration of a pagan holiday? How you think the Lord would feel about that, right? Okay? Here's, here's the thought. Would it not seem proper, appropriate, if the man of sin, the son of perdition, the beast, whence he goes into the rebuilt temple, saying, here I am, I'm the God that, you know, I'm the Christ, okay? Wouldn't it be proper if he would announce that he, the son of perdition, were born on December 25th? Wouldn't it be proper and appropriate that the son of perdition would play off of all the pagan Christmas stuff? Wouldn't that seem appropriate? It would, at least on to me. And like I said, I, this is just conjecture. I'm just, 
just a, just a thought for some of you to think about. Uh, uh, not doctrinal. <laughs> no, no, I'm just putting this out there for you, uh, the body of Christ, the Church of the Living God. Wouldn't it be so interesting to find to come to find out while we're up there um, looking down uh, on our Lord Jesus Christ, God our Father, pouring out his wrath on this earth for seven years while we're up there with him? Um, wouldn't it really be interesting? Wouldn't it really be interesting to find out that he would play off of all this Christmas stuff and say, I was born on December 25th? Think about that. And if that were to happen, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, but if that were to happen, think about it. Think about it. You know, there's a part in the book of Revelation where they're sending gifts one to another because the two witnesses, Moses and Elijah, got killed and everybody was able to see it, either by internet or one of those no, flat screen things, whatever, and they were sending gifts one to another. I'm not saying, I'm just, you know, saying. Um, I'd like to hear what some of you would think about that. Okay? Just throwing this out there. Uh, this is not a topic of importance, but like I said, I wanted to share this with you. I wanted to share this with you and see what some of you think. Okay? Anyway, brethren, that's that's going to be it for this very video. Very, very quick. Um, I love you. I'm going to be getting to some emails. Um, I was just sent another email by a beloved sister. Um, anyway, I love you, brethren, sisters, Church of the Living God. I hope this day is blessed for you in the Lord and that you do the will of, the, of our Lord Jesus Christ, God, our Father. Okay? Love you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Okay?